The technologies for genome editing started to develop in the late 1900s but were really expensive and time consuming. But in 2009, CRISPR, a new genome editing tool was invented and it completely revolutionized gene editing. CRISPR, which stands for clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, is basically a family of DNA sequences that is detected in the genomes of prokaryotic organisms. The components of CRISPR are the case 9 enzyme. It cuts or deletes a segment of DNA, a sequence of RNA which guides the case 9 to the correct location to cut and finally a new DNA template to repair the cut within. CRISPR's gene editing tool is simpler, faster, cheaper and more accurate than older genome editing methods. Thus, CRISPR is being used widely in gene editing today. Around 600 research papers had been published by the end of 2014 that mentioned CRISPR and the interest? It is growing exponentially. So let us have a look at five of the amazingly amazing applications of CRISPR. Number one, allergy free foods. The tendency to acquire allergies is often genetic, which means that it can be passed down through the parents' genes. Food allergies affect a large portion of the population and can be life-threatening in some situations. With CRISPR, it could be possible to make peanuts, eggs, or milk safe for everyone to eat. According to Tim Doran, a researcher at Australia's CSIRO, there are four proteins within egg white that cause allergy. We can use CRISPR to eliminate these proteins. Proteins like gluten often cause allergens. In the Netherlands, a research group is using CRISPR case 9 to modify the DNA of wheat to remove gluten. Number 2. Green Fuels CRISPR can help improve the production of biofuels by algae. Algae usually do not produce enough levels of fat to make the production of biodiesel economically viable. But gene editing can enhance the production of fats in algae. The gene editing tool has already allowed scientists to locate and remove genes that restrict the production of fats. Using CRISPR case 9, a company called Synthetic Genomics has already created stains of algae that produce twice as much fat, which is then used to produce biodiesel. With this modification, the efficiency of converting CO2 into biofuel is much higher. The company is now working with the oil company ExxonMobil to achieve a target of producing 10,000 barrels of algae biofuel per day by 2025. To know more about CRISPR and to learn more information on how we can create super soldiers using it, do refer to the video link in the description. Point number three, pest eradication. CRISPR can help us keep a check on the number of animal species that spread infectious diseases or invasive species in a particular ecosystem. The gene editing technology can be applied to formulate gene drives that ensure a genetic modification which will be passed on to all offsprings spreading throughout an animal population over several generations. Last year, researchers at Imperial College of London, UK used this technology against mosquito species responsible for the spread of malaria. They introduced a gene when carried by two parents, as a result of which females stop laying eggs. After the gene drive was raised in a trial with caged mosquitoes, the population was wiped out after seven generations. Researchers worldwide are now planning to test whether a similar approach could serve to fight invasive rats as well. However, there is controversy about whether the use of gene drives is ethical 
and whether they should be banned number 4 de extinction scientists are already working to revive back extinct animals using crispr technology researchers aim to introduce genes from the passenger pigeons once a dweller of north american forests into its modern day relative which is called the band tail pigeon the hybrids are planned to be bred for several generations until the offspring dna matches the extinct species the first generation of revived pigeons is awaited to hatch in 2022 another group of scientists at harvard is working on bringing back the woolly mammoth that also went extinct thousands of years ago and finally number 5 animal organs for humans scientists believe that crispr technology can be used to make pig organs suitable for transplantation into humans in 2017 harvard university geneticist george church predicted that gene edited pig organs will be transplanted into people in the near future a team of scientists led by church used a complex crispr molecule to edit 62 genes in pig cells at once a gene editing company also called e genesis co-founded by church again is currently testing organs from its pigs in monkeys at massachusetts general hospital this application if successful could solve a critical shortage of human organs available for transplant the team's experiments also signify a step forward in crispr technology by using multiple gene edits at once a method that could be imitated to make more complicated changes to dna quickly though crispr has innumerable amazing applications there are very strict worldwide regulations and bans on the tool because it can be used for several unethical and immoral things as well i'd like to thank everyone who has watched this video and most of all we'd like to thank scienceverse for collaborating on this video do check them out in the description down below the link is given and i'll see you in our next video take care